Hey everyone, this is Lucky70x. Welcome back to Let's Play Hand of Fate. I was like, alright, I have enough recordings done for the week, I'm good to go. And then 24 hours later of the last recording session, I was like, no! I just really want to play more of this game, it's so fun! I love just the randomness and just not knowing what's going to be coming up and building this deck. It's such a cool game! So screw it! We're going to record some more! Because I want to! Because it's fun! I'm having fun, guys! Uh, we're gonna do so many videos in this game, it's not even funny. I'm having way too much of a good time. That being said, once we get down to this row, it's gonna start kicking my ass. So who knows, but hopefully this one won't go too bad. The Jack of Scales, our first encounter with the Lizard Men. Now, double the cooldown times for weapons and artifacts is kind of annoying, but oh well. And, uh, oh, the last man standing. So we have two, two curses this time, but, uh... The last one alive is going to be a bit more difficult to kill, perhaps. What's the lore behind this guy? They have magic! Okay. Thank you, game. Thank you. That was that was very helpful. I didn't select you. I want to select Six you. Scales are represented by we gotta do things. Quiet, no, I'll patient, pick my own deck. Lethally all right, what do we got? Holy intelligent. Of all the creatures I have incarnated as suits, these please me the most. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay. Uh, Feathered Ice sounds exciting. Well, we have three things to add, and we have three things there. That's pretty easy. Oh, the Rat Cleaver and the Lace Limb is pretty good, though, too. We have a lot of rings here, yet we don't seem to encounter them all that often. Like, most of these rings we haven't seen. What does this ring do? Do we have a thing? Uh, we get health back. It's kind of... Uh, whoa, no, no. I kind of want to keep that in there. Uh, I can take out some artifacts, especially since the cooldowns are increased. Uh, the Mercenary Contract's decent. I've never really cared that much for Damocles. Uh, we haven't really... Do we have we even tried Consuming Shame yet? A Powerful Poison? I don't really necessarily care for that either. I do like the Mercenary Contract because the gold you get back it tends to be pretty good. Uh, let me take out one more thing. Weapon-wise, I like these weapons. The shields are important. Uh, we got a bunch of good armor, so that's good to keep. We could take out one of the medium armors, maybe, but I do want to make sure I get the medium armor. Probably can take out a helmet. We have a lot of helmets now. Fool's Gold is really good, we'll have enough bandits that'll be interesting. What did this one do again? Mm, it's something. I'm really picky right now. The double healing's really good. Helmet of Earth. Man, all these are so good! I don't know what to take. You know what, fine. We'll just, let's just go with everything that's exciting. Maybe I'm kind of stacking the deck too much on me not getting armor of this case, which is a little concerning, but look at all the cool stuff! I want the cool stuff! Oh, wait, no, I have... I can add three things, what am I doing? I could have sworn I counted out- oh no, because I want to add these two. But that means I can add one more thing! So there we go, problem solved. A little low on the artifacts, perhaps, but... Do I want the medium armor or do I want an artifact? I think... Ah, tough call, tough call. Medium armor, artifact. Medium armor, artifact. Because the artifact did help us- we needed an artifact to get through some of the thing of the side questy things, so... Put the cooldown right now. I'm gonna say no. The, the odds of us getting an artifact at some point are decent still. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm being crazy. Anyway, add in all the things that have things on the things. Oh my god, we have a lot of things on our things right now. Holy crap. Okay. We can take out the ones that we've seen before. Oh, take out the Ratman hunting, please. Just please. Uh, the loan was decent. Embertown Hero might be a pain in the ass. The altar did give us some blessings, I believe, so that wasn't too bad. Um, what things in here? I mean, the rat, now, rat and honey don't even give food that often, so it didn't seem that good. The noble trader wasn't worth it. Uh, which one of these things were, were was worth it? Probably the dead man's... Dead, Man, dead King's Hall gave me some pretty good items, I remember. That seemed pretty fair. Uh, the Crucible also gave me a lot of stuff, though. Maybe I could try fitting the Crucible. Instead of the loan? Instead of the altar? The Crucible did give me a lot of gold for completing it. It was pretty gosh darn fun. Uh, just to make sure all these things have things on them, and they do. Okay. Moe, we have so many cool things to get this time. So many cool things. I'm kind of excited. Uh, I did like, like I said, okay, I like the loan because of all the gold we got. Take out the altar for the Crucible or keep the altar? Let's get a good way to get blessings in here. Mr. Lionel and the Maiden are still pretty good. Twisted Canyon's a good way to get a weapon early on. Take out the Dead King's Hall for the Crucible? Hmm. Hmm. 
Let's keep the Dead King's Hall. I think I'm, I like this. All right, I've made my decision. It's so crazy how like much the like we keep adding all this new stuff in the deck, but we still have kind of some time for variation, even with the keep everything sort of strategy. It's pretty crazy. We're five minutes into this video, I still haven't started. This deck building process is gonna be a pain in the butt. All right. His scepter. Too bad, you're gonna lose it because I'm good at this game. Or I'm always lucky. Or I'm never lucky. I don't know, it's hard to tell. Last time was like, hey, half the time I'm gonna get failures, and half the time I'm gonna get huge successes. It was kind of funny how that ended up working, actually. Oh, I'm excited to play more of this! I have saved the lizard men for now, but the stakes have been raised. I'm not scared! There is no weapon I will not use against you. Hey, the altar. I mean, yeah, let's pray at the altar. Decent chance of good success. The huge failure is a little scary, but... A choice. I do so know that it's a success. So hopefully a good blessing. This is why I put the thing in my deck instead of something else. Many of these well, are too good for I them. now have use for the artifacts, all two of which I have in my deck. And one of which has no cooldown because you can only use it once per thing. So ultimately, oops, kind of bad. Look, again, I'll be all the repeats here, but the treasure chest is a good one to get. What more iconic emblem of success could we imagine? I love his flavor text. I really do. It's actually pretty gosh darn good. All right. This one. Hey, we did good for once. And I get the treasure chest. Oh, that's right. I have to try to pry it open. One chance of failure. Do I get one shuffle or two shuffles? Let's try this one. Okay. After a mighty heave. Oh, man. Give us some stuff. Four game cards right off the bat. I'm sure I... I am not... I, I am all for this. Now, is Desperate Measures worth or is Fate's Folly? Success chance cards award gold. Cards will work in your favor. I mean, I, it's early in and this could get me a whole bunch of gold. Oops, well, I guess I'm taking it. I was thinking about going for Desperate Measures. I think we'll get better weapons along the way, so it's okay. I'm gonna get the early gold, because then I can actually just buy a better weapon. Desperate Measures isn't bad, but there's better out there. Question is, is this the stairs? It is the stairs. Is it worth one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight food for two cards? Because we have gold, I'm gonna say yes. Okay, the maiden, good. I can just get more food. I'm pretty good on gold, so hey, uh, give me some supplies. 10 food, worth it. Okay, 13 food for this journey. It was totally wor worth it. I could have gotten a bunch more gold, but because I have a, a, the Fate's Folly anyway, and the loan! Oh! Oh, this is just a great start! I made such a good decision here. Take your gold, give me good stuff later. I'm so excited. Look at four of these steps I'm already taking here. One, two, five actually, because four here to get to this. I'm actually still above my the starting food. Press on. And we get to go forward, and we get huge payday. Ah, oh, just your so worth it. I hard on this game. Okay, I found the hitcher ride. It is a pleasure to see you play. Obviously, it's not worth going yet. I'm gonna keep going. Until it sails. Ooh, wise words. I'm talking over the. He's like he's he's finicking with his doohickeys. That's pretty cool. What do we got here? A place to shop. I can't complain about this, especially because I'm about to get huge money really soon. If he has anything that I want and I can't get it right now, I can come back probably on the way to the hitcher ride if the turn- I think the, the steps will work out just well enough for it to be good to go when we come back, which will be nice. Probably buy some more food there. So the Ring of Justice. Okay, so... Oh, it'll destroy the ring, but we'll get full, we get a full heal. And this ring is sold, but we get a whole bunch of health for gold, but we'll be super poor. Whenever we get healed, we, res we gain one gold. Or the Ring of Survival. Let's just re-get it because it's held back. Probably the Ring of Survival, I'm thinking? We have a lot of good rings here, but... I don't necessarily like this because... Let's see, weapon ability... But we can get a full heal. But then, I but then I have to be very conscientious about using my weapon ability as opposed to be able to spam it, which is probably better to do that. This doesn't seem worth it because I'm going to lose all my money. I'll get a bunch of health back, which is nice, but I don't want to spend money just to do that. Uh, and then... I don't need the gold. I want the healing. 
Extra health. This should be good enough, I think. This seems like a pretty pretty base ring right there to get. I, I like the idea behind that. Uh, do I want to buy more food? I can buy nine more food. Let's... Mm, let's hold off on the food. I'm pretty good for food right now. Let's see what the rest of this floor entails, because it's so close to the, to the exit anyway that I may as well use it then. Stop fidgeting with your doohickeys! Look at this! Oh, just all of the good events early on. All of the good events early on. Climb down, get that weapon. That's what I like to see. That is what I like to see. I wasn't paying attention. I think it's this one. Yeah. We good. We good. Look at that. I saw some success there. Five gold already for that decision. And I just get a weapon right now, which will be better than Desperate Measures because we've already seen Desperate Measures. That's a huge hammer. Screw Desperate Measures. I have a big stick. Great. I like it. I like it. Are you sure that's and this time, I might actually be able to keep it. Oh, here we go. Here comes the, the gold. Here comes the muns. Not as much muns as before, but a decent amount of muns. Uh... You know what? I am actually gonna just double make sure I, I, I have I have 62 gold. I can spend a le I can spend uh two of the golds. Yeah, yeah. This is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna buy exactly six food. This will leave 40 gold, which is a decent amount, and I have 22 food now, which is quite a hefty amount. I should be good to go on food now, no matter what happens. Even if I run to a charity thing, I think I can actually have a decent shot at it now. So. Ooh, it's a Dead Man's Gorge. Wait, didn't we not put this in the deck? No, that was a Dead Man's Hall. Well, time for some, uh... Oh, the battle against the dust still. So it's a good thing I kept Fool's Gold in this deck. You still kind of encountered dust a lot. And of course, we will of course encounter the, the Jack and Queen, and maybe even the King on occasion. So, we do have to be mindful of those. They are lurking around, doing their spooky business. Oh man, I have a huge hammer! So I need to get a big combo, I believe, of this weapon, and then press 1 to activate it. Ow! Good start, good start. What the? Oh, I'm, I'm not pressing, I'm pressing the wrong button. I keep I keep pressing right click, but that's the, that's the, the, that's the interrupt and not the... I'm dumb, basically, is what I'm trying to say here. It's, it's not, it's, it's Q. I always just confuse Q and right click for this game for some reason. And then like after the first combat, I'm like, I'm done being dumb. That's okay, my health is back to full anyway. Health, then I work harder to take it. That's rude, dude. I don't appreciate that. Oh, the peasant again. Well, I have food this time. And everything in I can give her the five food and hope that that gives me the, the, uh, the token this time. It is a little risky, but I'll have 14 food going to the next place. I should be okay on food. Eh, let's just be nice. Give her lots of food. Get, ooh, get some equipment and the token. You know what? I might have gotten it at two food, but let's get something. Are you okay, deck? Oh, 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 okay. Well, I apparently I needed to only get gloves, but now I have the gloves. I have a huge hammer and I'm super fast. That's pretty nice. Oh my god, it is like super hot here. Let me just talk about this for a second. It is so hot lately. I hate the heat. It's awful. I am a roasty toasty lucky right now. Ooh, lots of cards to go here. The Traveling Tinker. Might be worth just buying food because I'm a little low now. It was worth it because I got some pretty good equipment for it, but my food count is slightly concerning. Food is the big variable, I think, that really matters so much in this game. Like, it, it's so important. Gold for food is never a bad choice. The Ring of Justice, the Rat Cleaver is decent, but I have a weapon. The Helm of Reflection. Ooh, the Angel Wing. Greater movement speed on top of this? Sure, you know what? Let's just go fast. Move quickly from here. There is little material gain. Let's try, let's try the gotta go fast option here. Oh, but I had the Fate's Folly already, which is a little annoying. Eh. How much does the face folly sell for? 15? That's not terrible. I mean, I already had... I, I should have remembered that I already had the face folly. And I will get gold for that, which is nice. Eh, but better for combat, I think. And let's just spend the rest on food. I have the money, sure why not? Grateful for that. I'll keep the face folly in case I need to give up a helmet for some sort of event or something silly happens. I don't need the money yet, I'm not desperate. Fu is in decent shape. Ooh, here we go. The White Council 3. We've angered them last time. 
but here we go. Uh, well, I'm gonna listen to you, of course. Well, <laughs> with the undead! Oh boy, do I get to kill some skulls this time? That sounds fun. Late a curse. Oof. And now the living- well, <laughs> it's not my problem, except it's completely my fault, so I will totally help you, obviously. Okay, so... Ooh, that card's gonna be on the- oh, it's right down there. Well, we know where we're going. Let's go to Dim's Gate! And it's cool how you get- sometimes you get cards that replace other cards. But, uh, waiting for the undead. Some creepy totems. Wow, that's actually kind of creepy. Oh, well, that's that's not too bad. Yeah, of course I'm gonna fight the undead. It's only four of them, and I'm like super fast now. I have angel wings. I have fleet cuffs. I should be like the fastest guy with a huge hammer ever. I'm gonna be like. I, I'm trying to think of, of of something that's fast and hits hard. I don't know. Gotta go fast, yo. I'm Sonic the Hedgehog now. Sonic uses a hammer, right? Like some weird fusion of Sonic and Knuckles. Oh god. I assume I have to kill- Oh my god, I'm fast! Way too fast! Too fast! Too fast! I am too fast! One does not simply go this fast! Counter- Counter-attack and do the combo! Boom! Explosions! More undead. That's rude. I guess these guys keep summoning the undead until I break them. Well, that shouldn't be too- Whoa, no! Excuse me! You can't just hit me like that, that's rude. I thought I'd been in time. Holy crap, I am fast now, though. Did you see that movement? Oh my goodness. I just, like, DBZ teleported up to that totem and started wailing on them with my hammer. It was fantastic. Well... Thank you for... <laughs> She's a... Don't mind her, she's always cranky. Yep, we gotta go kill them and stop the White Council! Consultation- oh! There's even more events in this place. Well, that's interesting. But first, we must deal with the Goblin King's halls. The secrets of your memories, you'll get Hi, Mr. Lionel. Some you we got the hair. It's pretty cool. Okay, he's doing a device thing. He has an amulet! Oh, man! In a stone chamber. We're going to, like, we're, I guess we're, we're dealing with the king now? Or we're going after his treasure? Okay, steal 50 gold pieces. And you'll hold my gold, huh? Okay, so he has all my gold. Oh, I got healed, I guess. That's cool. I didn't really have any gold for him to steal, did I? I'm pretty sure I had zero gold. Oh, it's our first trap room! We actually haven't seen one of these yet. Sometimes you have encounters that aren't actually fights. They're actually just avoid the traps and don't take damage. So, this is our first time dealing with this, which is kind of cool. Okay, so I gotta get 50 gold. Luckily for me, like, usually ha I'd wanna dodge roll through these, but like, look how fast I am. It's kind of like absurd, actually. So I can dodge these traps so much easier just by the raw speed I have right now. Welcome to Gotta Go Fast Town, featuring me. Now, I do wanna be careful, because there are still traps. I have to make sure I don't step anywhere that's bad ever. Gotta just take it slow, see, okay, there are some arrow traps. If I can dodge roll through those, this looks suspicious. That's definitely a shooty thing. Haha! -ha! Oh! I rolled right into that one. I, I that was just dumb of me, really. That was just That was just poor of me. That was that was just that was just silly. I just knock over these pots because they're fun. I hope I didn't miss any gold, did I? It feels like I do not have nearly enough yet. Okay, this looks like a trap. Huh! Dodge that trap. Okay, I want to go on this side and run. It's going against the flow here, but I want to time it like this! Uh, look how fast I am. I'm so fast. I don't think I got enough gold, did I? Is there a place I could have gotten more gold? Is he going to be upset that I didn't get enough gold? I'm not... Can I break things to get gold? Okay. I guess I just get to keep going again. Okay, I guess I just get to keep going until I have the gold. Well, that's easy. I got 27 the first time. I should get enough this time, right? I mean, oh, I didn't even... I My health's back up to full. I guess he heals me every time. I mean, this isn't a t particularly hard trap gauntlet. Mostly because my moving speed, like I said, is absurd, but... 
I'm glad to see that the DLC ones are starting to sort of pay off and end up with really interesting encounters now. This trap room is definitely a little bit different than the one we had before, though. That much is for sure. Okay, just careful around this. Grab the gold. Head over here. Spike traps! Be careful. Wait for the fire. Wait for the fire. I'm not even going to roll through this because I see I'll probably roll into that trap there. So I'm going to just go woo! And then I'm going to go woo! And then I'm going to go woo! And especially woo. Okay. I'm like, my, my cursor is not on the screen right now. So these pots don't like break and get stuff, right? I can kind of bash them. Can I hit them in? Oh, I'm caught on like a thing. Can I hit them into the trap? Do they interact with the traps? Can I like stop the trap with with a pot? Will I stop myself with a pot? Who knows? I see fire up there. Yeah, okay. I gotta wait for that to time out. And then go really fast. Whoa! Really? That wasn't enough again? I guess third time's the charm. Back in we go. Please don't be angry, Mr. Lionel. I almost have it. I almost have it. I almost got it. I almost got it, dude. This place is actually, this is really kind of fun. I like this one. I mean, it'd be nice if we could actually, like, get it done without all the craziness, but... <laughs> I'm so fast! <laughs> I'm sorry, it amuses me so much to be this fast. I can just be like, nope! I'm too fast for you, traps! I'm too fast! Too fast! You can't stop me now! Did something? Okay, no. Eh, whatever. <laughs> Easy peasy! Apparently I don't even have to try, I can just be like, "Wee!" And everything will work out just fine for me. It's pretty great. The card's token is now yours. Did it! Oh, I took all my gold. Give me that gold! Oh, I didn't have any gold to start with, that's right. Well, let's keep going. With more DLC, we're doing all the DLC today. Okay, so we're back. So we, we found information about the the Knoll Witch. So you need to find a high binder. That's right. The high binder was the word. Uh, it's the high binder. Oh, okay. So it's a guy about information. He'll know stuff. Well, why didn't we just go to him first? I have none of this stuff. Dang it. Can I go back here at least? No, it's grayed out. Okay, well, I'll know for the future that I need to hoard 50 gold for that card. That's a little, and that's a lot of, what's an iron ore? I have no idea what the iron ore is either. I will happily wager on the outcome. Okay, so here you we go. You have what it takes. Oh, is that so? Is that so? Okay, all right, so we gotta discuss about how to deal with this. Uh, let's gather in the forest, the tall towers. I guess I can ask for more information first. Okay, so they weren't so aggressive back then. Uh, and they kept to themselves and left us alone, but lately they have not been doing that. Oh, so they've been helping the vill villagers. Okay, so what changed? Why are they being so nasty now? Ah, okay, so they cause trouble. Ah, so they have a new leader and then they want tributes and blah, 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 and they're being super rude mages. And yeah, okay, so we can't find the tower. What about the supply wagons? Okay. That sounds a little spooky and crazy, but at least we completed the mission. Unfortunately, all this DLC has kind of replaced this entire floor, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Oh, well, here we go. Here's something new and exciting. Oh, is this the one? Okay, the Restless Spirits. Oh, I have a blessed soul, so it was super easy. So because I had the blessing, Look at that, the, my choice to do the altar totally worked out in my favor. Can't complain about that. Oh, and now we have this, oh, this chance again. So we gotta find the hunt, we gotta find the huntsman. We gotta not get a huge failure this time because we fell in that pit trap. The success would be nice, but I think the failures should be good enough too. I think this one's fine. I saw the huge failures on top, so I meant whatever the top card was of the second shuffle would not be a huge failure. It's a failure, okay. Unfortunate, but I think this should be okay. Maybe as long as I get a success here, it should be okay. Okay, so this one, the, the one that was shuffled on top first was a failure, which means the one that was shuffled on top the second time has a 67, or you know, two thirds chance of being a success. So, never lucky. 
Am I, am I, no! My ring. Oh well, at least it's just the ring. <sighs> Dang it! <laughs> can never do the Huntsman. I can never beat the Huntsman, apparently. The Huntsman will be the bane of my of my existence. Okay, I need food. I am gonna need some food. Uh, this would help if. Well, actually, I can at least get a little bit of food because I can sell my Fate's Folly for some money at least, and that's that. That helps a little bit. Uh, okay, so I need to sell this. Uh, yeah, sell, sell, there we go. And I can sell the axe. And then that gives me 19 gold to get food with. It's something. I mean, I, I need as much as I can get. I forget if he's, did he, the guy say this is the, if this is the last one here or not? I was not really paying attention. Okay, 13 food, I think is enough to get, is it enough to get through this map? I might have to path myself inefficiently. So one, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, I have enough food to make it through this part of the map at least. Now, a okay. I expect greatness. Apparently. Oh, and I can't actually use the magical effects on my weapon and artifact. But that doesn't count for my equipment, so I can still go fast. Well, we didn't get a lot. We, we missed an entire floor just because of bad luck in the pathing here. I don't think we even encountered. We didn't even encounter any normal lizards along the way, which is kind of odd. You're supposed to encounter them, but this is kind of an odd run of the Jack of Scales, but a quick one because of missing out on this floor. Because that was like probably a good ten minutes to cut out right there, which is both good and bad. The bad part of it is that I didn't get, you know, a whole bunch of new tokens. So that's going to be a little unfortunate, but I did get some DLC tokens. At least the ones that, you know, I didn't completely done goof. <laughs> you know, the ones that I didn't completely miss, which were like all of them. Honestly, this was not a very profitable uh, run. We didn't get much from it just because of RNG. I'm a little sad. I wish you could be like, no, I don't want to fight the boss right now. I want to... I want to keep going on the map first, because I would have had more than enough food to go through the rest of the map and been fine. It's a little unfortunate. I need to, like, break through- I can't, maybe I have to- oh! Ow! Rude. I'm just gonna try to take pitch shots at these guys while I can. They have shields, which is annoying. I, I should need to probably do a lot of counterattacks. You're- ah, they're fast with that attack. Gotta stay away from that guy with this giant thing, just kind of- ah, dang it, I should have- countered. Okay, this is difficult, and I'm scared. They weren't kidding around. Nope. Stay away from that guy. He's big and scary. These guys and their shields. I really need to work on the... No, yeah, I just need to go for the hits here. Go for the counterattacks, it seems. But then they get angry, and I have to dodge out of the way. I'm gonna stay away from him. He's doing... Yeah, he's doing things. I'm only at 50% health right now. Yes, he's knocked down. Hit him while he's down. Okay. Regroup. I need to wait for them to attack and go for, like, a counterattack of some sort, I think. Hit him while he's down! Counterattack! Well, this guy! Boom! Okay, these guys are about counterattacking. It would be nice for me to actually, like, have a chance to fight these guys before fighting their leader, but, hey, this is just the guy to go fast. Like, look how fast I am! Look how fast I am! I don't have to- like, I'm just gonna play the speed game. We'll just dodge. Dodge and counterattack is the name of the game. Hit this guy while he's down, that's- okay, that's two down. The other ones are probably weakish. Come on. Oh, that's a red. Nah! Don't do that. I'm not punching the face. <laughs> I'm a deck in the schnoz! Team Four Star reference. Nope! Oh, I just knocked him through oblivion. That's cool. You having fun there? Ah, nope! Too fast for you! I'm too fast for you. Go ahead, do your tail thing. Knock your friends down. Knock your friend down. Knock your friend down. Bash him in the head. Punch him in the face. Knock him in the gaba. All right. Go. Oh, I can counterattack this one. Counterattack! Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. I was not ready to dodge. <laughs> I'm hitting him through the floor and it's weird. Bad, bad. Ow. Okay, I gotta just get one hit in and then just go. 
Ah, nope. Smack him in the face. Oh! Oh, wait, this is good. Back punch! Back punch! Dead! Okay, that one became a bit of a hit and run and really scary. You really want to be going to a boss of full health. My angel mask looks so weird on my face there. We are going to have a lot of cards to deal with. Well played. Well played indeed. I'm a little bit sad that we missed out on a lot of stuff here, but this is where we're going to start losing. We're going to start losing a lot of things, but at least we... Okay, we gained an equipment card at the start of adventure. That's cool. More food is always good. Uh, better starting gear. About the Ratman's... Okay, so everyone also gets an increase in strength. Gotcha. Gotcha. Man, all these cards, and I can't do them! It makes me really sad. Look at all these cards I missed out on. Go peacefully to your fate and leave me to mine. Oh, someone's angry. You, begin to you mad bro? Incredible deck. Let us see what happens next. Yeah, unfortunately, I didn't assemble a lot of stuff in that deck. Had a lot of uh, redos there. A great helm of reinforcement, though. That's cool. What do we got? The Goblin King's Halls 3, and the next on the White Console. Ooh, getting close there. Yeah, not too many tokens this time because I just didn't get a lot. A new ring. It's always good. So not a lot of new items this time, unfortunately. Uh, oh, there's the metal ore. I guess that's something I'm going to need for that one quest. I guess I just kind of was further ahead than I thought. That being said, because we didn't unlock much, we didn't, we're not going to have that much extra to add to the deck. So it's going to be mostly just doing a lot of the new stuff. Really, I'm just going to try to see as many plot lines through as I can. And then run endless mode to show off the other ones that I missed, hopefully. That's, or just rerun levels. Oh, an undead, bed, ba undead bane weapon's pretty good. We should probably have enough equipment where next time we can actually add the new one. And that'll be kind of nice. Hey, look at this, probably a one-parter. I mean, it's gonna be a bit of a longer one-parter, but probably still a one-parter this time, so. The nice thing about not doing those levels is it didn't take me another, like, 15 minutes to do this episode, so that's a thing, I guess. Unfortunately, that's kind of the name of the game. Sometimes the cards just don't fall the way you want them to, and you end up missing a whole bunch of stuff just because you don't get lucky. It was unfortunate. I had the food for it, too. It would have been... It would have been nice to have run all of that. I had a really good setup going. I was kind of just ready to just go and make a lot of progress, but... I guess this once time... Just this once, I went too fast. Oh, well. This is like a 70X sign out. Stay tuned in the next episode where we take on the third tier of stuff and some really scary stuff. I didn't see which queen it was, but rest assured, it's probably going to kick my ass. I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.